stand there for hours. <laughs> That's me, and I'm telling you all about my hellish drive from Michigan to Colorado. How I broke my thumb, had poison ivy in just about every part of my body, blew the transmission out of my truck, but met some amazing friends who came and rescued me, and how we were somehow still going to make it to Idaho. Besides, you don't want to listen to me bitch anyways, and you can't ask yourself in situations like this if it's all worth it. Sometimes you just have to suck it up and push through. And now, almost a year later, I can tell you, boy, was it worth it. And I am counting the days down until I get to do it all over again with the amazing people I met on this trip last year. So yeah, that's it. It's coming together. We're going to be about a day and a half late. And that's it. Look at this. It's gorgeous out here today. So yeah. Let's go get some birds. We will see you on the way to Idaho. Picked up a rat and did an addition to the hunting club. <laughs> Here comes the sun. Good morning, Stella. Good morning, Cora. Tiger Moth is set up, put some miles on it. Look at that view. We are out in Idaho right now. We'll keep it simple, salt and pepper, maybe a little garlic. Bitch. And in the blink of an eye, there we go. The tiger moth is set up and friends are here. The first night in the books. But I wasn't quite refreshed. And when you're in the land of 93,000 miles of pristine rivers and mountains, there's just a dose of medicine you need to take. Beautiful fish down here in Idaho. An old fisherman once told me, the river just knows. The river doesn't judge. And let's face it, I'm a crappy fly fisherman and we all caught fish. This is exactly what I needed to clean my mind. And as night faded in, I found myself surrounded by new friends, amazing food, and campfire. This is truly living in the moment. And I often wondered, what if quality of life was measured by the amount of times you spent around the campfire? When I was a kid, I used to pretend like I was sleeping the night before a hunt. Dressed in my camo, I'd wait for my dad to come up the stairs and open the door. Tonight, I felt that same excitement, like a child on the night before Christmas. Tomorrow was a big day. I'd finally get to chase the devil bird itself, in real life, and in person. For those of you who have never had a bird dog, I don't think I could possibly put into words what a bird dog means to a passionate bird hunter. I truly believe that dogs come into our lives for a particular reason over a particular period of time.
They got, we flushed them right down to those guys. <laughs> oh yeah, nice shot, dude. You, you creamed that one. Yeah, I got a, this one over here somewhere. Well, I'm gonna mop this one, so I gotta find it. Good bird. You doing okay? You think? Look at this terrain these birds live in. It's insane. Lava looking rocks, river down there. I was high on life, standing on lava rocks in the mountains. It was unreal. The sun beating down on my face, holding the devil bird itself in my hand. I was living my dream, pondering in the distance at the beautiful landscape. But what I didn't realize at that time was the real treat of the trip. And that was soaking up that energy soaking up those vibes between a bird hunter and his dog, common amongst bird dog owners, yet so unique to each one of us. And I'm glad I got to experience a hunt with Matt and his big pod, furry, bearded buddy Winston. Bird.